Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's good to see somebody set the clock correctly. Last time, I believe it was an hour. Um, showing seven o'clock, but somebody moved it back. That's good. So I have it time for us to have a meeting that we've called. Uh, we'll call a special meeting tonight, primarily to have an executive session and primarily to talk about personnel. So I want to call this meeting to order. Again, appreciate you being here, uh, showing up tonight. I'm going to ask the first thing on the list is approval of the agenda. Do I have a motion that we approve the agenda? I'll make a motion that we approve the agenda. Thank you. Mr. Swells makes that motion. Do I have a second? I'll second, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Swells. Uh, Mr. Wester makes a second on that. Any discussion about the agenda? About the agenda? All in favor? All right, we, we approved the agenda, and the next thing is called executive session. I hope we got some good chairs set up outside. If not, feel sure to take one with you because we decided if we go into executive session and we go down in the little room there, that would not be good for social distancing and this type of thing, and we want to follow the governor's rules and regulations and follow and try to keep everybody safe. So we're going to have a motion to go into executive session. I move that we go into executive session. Thank you. Dr. Maxwell makes a motion. We go into executive session. Need a second. I'll second. Thank you. Mr. Franklin makes that second. Any discussion? All in favor of going into executive session, talking about personnel, please raise your hand. We got a 5-0 vote. So we will now go into executive session. Gentlemen, we'll try, and ladies, we'll try to keep it as brief as possible because uh, we've got a lot to discuss, but if you don't mind, if y'all excuse yourself. Apologize for the late, but we had some very good discussions uh, for the county safe, and I appreciate you coming back in. So I'm gonna ask for a motion to bring us out of executive session. I make a motion that we come out of executive session and back into our regular session called meeting and authorize the chairman to sign all documents uh, from the from the meeting, uh, from executive session. Thank you. Commissioner West makes a motion we come out of executive session. I have a second. I second the motion. Thank you. Dr. Max will make that second. Any discussion? All in favor? Okay, we're back on the air probably. Uh, you got us zoomed in? Yes, sir. And we're back here and we're down to the next item talking about the county manager. We just come out of the executive session. And I'm going to ask for a motion to accept our manager's written recommendation that she resigned uh, on December 11th, be her last day. I'm going to ask for a motion that we accept her. Uh, uh, resignation. Do I have a motion? Yeah, I move that we accept the resignation of County Manager Beth Thomas effective December the 11th, 2020. I got a motion. Do I have a second? No, second. Thank you. Mr. Franklin, second said. Dr. Maxwell makes that motion. Any discussion? All in favor? Okay. Now we're going to move in to the next uh, item here and uh, Next thing is a vote on uh, advertising the position. Uh, we've gotten a description of, of the position and so forth. Do I have a motion that we are advertised for a manager, county manager? I make the motion that we have to start advertising on November 11th for the county manager position stated by the job description that we Okay. Now, I was thinking we were going to start advertising tomorrow. Yeah, that's November, November 11th. November 11th. Give them a day or so. Okay, we've got a, we've got a motion to start advertising tomorrow on the 11th. Uh, this position. Uh, to have a second. A second. Thank you, Mr. Proctor. Second that motion. Uh, any discussion? All in favor? All right, so we're going to start advertising and we'll get down to announcements. I'm on announce a little bit additional to that, what we uh, 
we hope to accomplish uh, about another call meeting and what we accomplished trying to look at somebody shattering uh, since Ms. Beth is going out on uh, December 11th, we're going to look at somebody to shatter her. We're also going to uh, check into ACCG. So we've got a couple options there, but we're going to have a, a call session actually next Thursday, if you put it down next Thursday, the 19th, November 19th. 6 p.m. 6 p.m., yes, yeah. 6 p.m. Okay. I don't think we need a motion or anything else. We'll move on down to announcements. You got anything, sir? You got anything? Uh, yes, I'd like to just say a couple things. Um, with regard to your resignation, um, I know that you put a lot of thought into that process. And uh, I said it the other day um, in our retreat, but I really appreciate you. Um, with regard to this transitionary period and um, trying to figure out how to best approach this, I sent out an email to various people throughout the departments um, based on what they said in those emails that have returned and conversations that I've had since you've been here. Um, you'll be very much missed. And you built some very strong relationships and our county um, has benefited from you in that role. So I wanted to thank you openly. Very good. I'd like to tell Beth that uh, I've enjoyed working with her. Uh, she's brought the county and finances a long ways. And uh, I'm personally going to miss her. But uh, life goes on for her. She has a life that she's got to live. And I've always encouraged her to, you know, families first. This county will be here Monday when you get back. So, you know, uh, I'll miss her being here. Jason, you got an answer? No, just want to say thank you. We appreciate our, or I appreciate all your hard work with the county, and I wish you well. Thank you. I got Chairman, can I say something? I thought yes, we were going to wait till our last meeting <laughs> to do that. But I do appreciate everything that you've done. We are definitely better off financially. Than when when we started back several years ago, I can't remember when it was. But I do want to thank you for your hard work. I'll close us out with a couple of announcements here. You know, we've been pushing for the TV. This young lady right here done more for the people trying to get that TV service out of Atlanta than you can imagine. <coughs> Even today, <coughs> excuse me. Today she uh, she filled out a form that we got from Kelly Leftfoot's office. A form saying, give us an uh, answer. What we at on this? She took time out to fill that form out today. I've been corresponding with uh, Kelly Leffert's office. It's election time. If you're going to get some answers, now is the time to get the answers. So thanks for filling that out, and thanks that's gone in the mail. I also want to announce, I talked to Joy Dorsey today. Uh, you know, we're working on an issue with the airport. Uh, he was meeting with his uh, commissioners, and he's trying to line up a date that we can get together, hard in this. Also, I'll be meeting with uh, Alan Powell tomorrow at the retired teacher's uh, luncheon, and he and I'll be talking and discussion about the legislation, how to formulate the uh, legislation so we can move forward with the airport situation. Uh, <clears throat> last which is definitely up front i've been working with this young lady right here for six years i've been in the open public eyes for half a century she's in the top five of all the people i've worked with i've never seen such a performance she was named a manager of the year 2018 through accg she turned this county and brought it forward the employees of this county appreciate you, Ms. Thomas. <clears throat> and I put a tough question to her today. I don't mind telling you. I said, Ms. Thomas, I'd like to put a, see if I could get a motion to turn your resignation down. I think I could get a motion. 
I know I could get a motion. I know I could get a second. And I know we could have done it. She said, whoa, I want to see this county going forward. I don't want to step out of the way. I want, I, I'll keep on trying to help the county any way I can. I tell you what, you won't find many <coughs> people that will sacrifice the salary that we're paying her for the next two years on the contract to step aside to help the county out to try to keep it moving forward. We know we owe you a heck of a lot of gratitude. And I will never for, forget you for what you've done for our county. You made me a stronger person. You made this county a stronger county. Absolutely incredible that we had the privilege of working with you and doing what you've done for this county. So we're going to move forward and just thank you for what you've done. Now I need a motion to adjourn. Before you adjourn, I'm sitting here waiting for my Julia moment and there's people in this room that will understand what that, that comes from. Um, don't have anything prepared, but I will say thank you. Um, six years ago, no experience in government. Uh, I think you were on the board, and I think Chairman Bridges was on the board, and, and he gave me a chance. But beyond y'all giving me a chance, because I had a chance to, you know, um, go through the whole interview process, these department heads and these employees and these citizens, they gave me a chance. I get the reputation of uh, being a numbers. Um, get the reputation of being a numbers person a lot, and I hope that I can leave the county in more than just a numbers person. But all those accolades that you give, that is not possible without this team. That's, that makes it up. We have led this county as a team. They have grown and taught me as much as I could, you know, just a fraction. If I could have taught them a fraction of what they taught me, um, and this county is blessed to have the people in the right places. And I hope as a citizen, because now I get to take off this role and, and get to be a citizen, that as y'all find the manager, y'all really look to the qualities of a leader. And that, that quality should be, you know, the right people in the right places and then just get out of the way and let them do their job and support them. That, that's what they need. Um, I still don't have all the words that I want to say. I think some of, some of people have mistaken my silence for weakness. I'm living somewhere between Winnie the Pooh and Hell Hath No Fury. And when I find those words, a lot of it is being restricted um, because I know what is best for the county. But it's, it's not that moment. Um, and so I want to see us um, come forward. I was disappointed, and whoever leaked it to the radio, uh, I asked for the courtesy just to let me know, you know, let me talk to my staff. By mid morning, we're, you know, where's the press release? So I'm, I'm very disappointed. I'm not sure who, who did it, but um, I did the right thing by notifying y'all first. I needed that time to do right by my employees. I was disappointed in the words about not being a team player. Um, but, you know, I'll do what's best for the county, and I haven't found my words yet, but when I do, um, thank you again. I really do appreciate the opportunity. Um, I'm excited about what this staff can do, and it's not going to be because of me. It's not going to be because of the next manager. It's going to be because of them and uh, the employees that have the heart. Um, but uh, thank you. Thank you again, <coughs> and thank all the employees. <coughs> you put together a good staff. The people have been here for years. Appreciate you. Uh, it's amazing how they rally and appreciate what you've done for them. It's incredible. Uh, we can't thank you enough, and we're looking forward to working with you through December 11th. We will get a lot done between them now and December 11th, I assure you. This lady won't step out the door. That She has everything in line you can count on, because we will be ready to move forward. All right, need a motion to adjourn. I move to adjourn. Thank you, Dr. Max Max Welcome. Second? I'll second. Mr. Thank you. All in favor? We stand adjourned. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, folks, for coming.